Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. I want to say a big welcome to you. All right, in this video, um, we're going to be doing some transom clamp repairs on the Johnson over there. We're going to be doing an oil change on the 15 Suzuki four-stroke. Maybe a little wire wheeling, maybe a little priming. I don't know. We'll get something. Um, what else we got going on? I got some boat maintenance on my boat. Right there behind me, little painting and stuff I need to get to and we're just gonna do some cool fun boat stuff you understand and who knows you never know what's gonna show up around here so we're gonna get at least some of that done and we'll see where we go from there so let's get at it okay you can probably see where it's all scarred up here where I tried to take some vice grips just to see if this thing would move. So what I'm going to do is drill a series of holes. Now if you watch right here you'll see that little pieces of aluminum are falling down. But at a certain point you're going to see a long spaghetti looking piece of aluminum. Start crawling up the drill bit. Up the drill bit. When you see that piece of spaghetti looking piece of aluminum start to crawl up the drill bit, that's when you're inside the, the actual bolt or clamp or whatever you want to call it. So just watch the drill bit. See the little pieces? Come on. She's hung on a piece. <laughs> there we go. There it comes. See it? See that piece? See that piece right there? Spaghetti looking stuff. Now we're in the clamp there. So we went deep enough. Alright, so I did one there. I also did one under here. Somewhere. Up under here. There's the spaghetti looking stuff. Okay. Then I did one over here. Same on this side. I did one here. I did one here. And I can't remember if I did one under there. Oh, that's what I did. I came in, you can do this too. You can come in right alongside the bolt like that. Come in that way. You're still going to have plenty of thread. I'll be back. Okay, after you get your holes drilled, then you're going to take some little containers and cut them about like that. And you can see I put a little wedge under there. Not on that side because it's in, it's screwed in. But if it ain't screwed in, you just want to take a little oil container of some kind, soap container, whatever. Cut it something like that. Just enough to get up under there. And something like that. Then what we did, what we did, what we did, is you can see I got some acetone. I got some acetone here. 
empty pretty much. And I got some automatic transmission fluid, doesn't matter what kind. And you're going to mix that 50 to 50. 50% each, 50% acetone, 50% ATF. And then we're going to top these off. My little containers. Just like so. Fill them right up. Then we're going to fill it right up. There you go. Make sure you don't bump that. Bump that. You make a mess. You don't want to make a mess. So, now you can see the transom clamps are submerged in the yummy, yummy, yum, yum. And them holes I drilled in there, that 50-50 automatic transmission fluid acetone mixture will get in those holes and loosen that right up. Um, we're not expecting any rain or anything, so I'm just going to let them soak overnight. So that'll soak overnight, and then tomorrow I'll take my vice grips and back them old stuck, welded, corroded clamps out of there. I'll be back. Well, that's the first coat. Sure enough, as soon as I started, got about halfway through it, the wind picked up. Started blowing pine needles, spruce needles. On my pretty paint job! Ugh. I got some thoughts on this little cutie right here. I, uh... I don't know. Um... I'm kind of toying. You see how it's got that goofy uh, fuel hose connect set up there on it? I think if I look around here, I got some of those mount under the bonnet little fuel tanks. And I was thinking that'd be kind of cool. And I think I have a four and a half bonnet that already has the hole for the fuel cap that sticks up through there. So I'm kind of thinking something along that lines. It wouldn't be nothing I couldn't reverse because I've got several of these hoods. So it's just a thought. We'll see what happens. See that old yucky winter moss on my moose horns? I got to get the moss off on it. I'll get it. But you know how I know springs are coming? I show you! I show you! Right, right there I know spring's coming. 
That's the rhubarb. It's popping up. When the rhubarb starts to pop, so does the temperature. Won't be long now. The plum trees even got some green on the tips. Some little buds. This is the new plum tree. But when that old rhubarb starts to pop out the ground, spring is coming. that boat. it up a little bit I ran it for a little bit so that oil would be a little bit thinner and as you can see by the color of that Earl I doubt it's ever been changed before at least it show don't look like it. that's a nasty nasty oil Poor little abuse, Suzuki. Poor little abuse, this. Man. 
what they do to them. Well, let me get it straight up and down now. See how big a mess I can make. I'm pretty good at it. I should probably take all this plastic off of here because I don't see maybe I'm missing it but I don't see an actual dipstick I see that that's just like a fill cap All this needs to come off so I can get, get the filter and stuff and just clean it good. So I'll probably have to do that. But let's, hell, it ain't really no more draining out of there, is there? I guess I'll put it back in. Apparently, it's hammer time. What is that one? Well, well, well. There the little Suzuki is without all the plastique on it. Um, yeah, and uh, I can get at it now and clean it a little better and so forth. And there's the propeller. Oh, looking pretty. I straightened it out on my anvil and then I dressed up the edges there and it looks pretty good. Gave it a primer and a paint job. And now I can clean these yucky yucky plastic pieces. And there's really not a lot to it. Um, basically, you got these long screws like that right there. You got one under there, one here, one here. You can see them. And then you got one that comes in from a short one that comes in from the top right here, and then you got the latch. That's it. And then you can take this plastic cowling off and get to cleaning it properly. You understand? So it's pretty easy. Just some Phillips screws, and then you can take it down to Parade Rest and get get that thing cleaned up it sure needs it and get some primer on there I'll be back well it's about 10 o'clock p.m. at night and I've got a few things going here 
but it's getting a little bit late and I got things soaking, things drying, things draining. And it's been a good, fun outboard day for sure. And the weather has just been beautiful. So, hopefully that'll stick around for a couple more days. And uh, we'll keep trucking along at it and getting this stuff in shape. And I got some ideas for this little cute day. Sure do. So, it's getting late. I'm getting a little bit tarred. So, I'm going to call it a wrap. And I'll solve it. That's one more hack from the Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.